Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, but you probably knew that, so here are 10 facts you probably didn't know about Mercury. Oh, and I'll also be giving away a $20 gift card, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how you could win. Welcome to On the Shoulders of Science. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about some awesome scientific facts and concepts in a fun, easy to understand way, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Ah, Mercury, the planet that everyone forgets about. Named after the Roman god of financial gain, commerce, eloquence, messages, communication, divination, travelers, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves. Geez, they couldn't just pick one? Ah, anyways, let's get to it. Fact number one. Mercury, despite being the closest planet to the sun, actually has ice on its surface, like frozen water H2O. So how is this possible? Well, ice doesn't cover the entire planet. After all, the part of the planet exposed to sunlight reaches temperatures over 430 degrees Celsius. However, some ice can be found in particularly deep craters near the poles. Now, because Mercury rotates at a very close to normal axial tilt, the polar regions have less and more glancing exposure to sunlight, ultimately diminishing the heat transferred to the poles. But that still doesn't make it cold enough for ice. Some craters are deep enough that the bottoms never see the sunlight. The location makes it impossible for the sun to reach it, and craters with ice can form. And that brings us to fact number two, Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere. Well, it kinda does, but the air that surrounds the planet is so thin and so sparse, scientists decided to give it a different name, an exosphere. While all the other planets, even Mars, has enough of a layer of gas that constitutes an atmosphere, Mercury doesn't. Between the sun's unrelenting solar wind blasting away surface atoms and Mercury's weak gravity, it hasn't been able to hold on to an atmosphere. And this is actually another reason why Mercury has ice on it. Here on Earth, the atmosphere is very good at trapping and conducting heat, so that the temperature is more or less uniform. But with no atmosphere to conduct heat, this means temperatures during the day on Mercury can reach 430 degrees Celsius, and temperatures in the shade or at night can dip down to minus 180 degrees Celsius. If Mercury had an atmosphere, warm air would circulate into these craters and melt the ice, even if the ice never sees the sun. And speaking of temperatures, fact number three, Mercury is actually only the second hottest planet. Venus actually takes the cake for hottest planet, averaging 464 degrees Celsius. I guess that's why they named the planet after the goddess of love. I'll speak more about why this is in my next video on 10 facts about Venus, but it essentially has to do with how without an atmosphere, Mercury can't trap very much of the sun's heat. And speaking of fights between Mercury and Venus, fact number four, Mercury has the longest day of any planet. Okay, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Everyone knows that Venus has the longest day of any planet. Mercury takes 59 Earth days to make a complete rotation, while Venus takes 243. Venus obviously wins. Uh, not so fast. There are actually two different ways to measure a day. A solar day and a sidereal day. My confused friend over here is referring to a sidereal day, meaning you measure the plane rotational period of a planet. <laughs> confused? Please. The plane rotational period of a planet. How long it takes a planet to spin around its axis once. That's a day. How else could you possibly measure a day? Are you ready for me to blow your mind? Oh, pfft. A solar day measures the length of a day relative to someone standing on the planet itself. Imagine you start facing the sun head on. Now, after one sidereal day, one rotation of the planet, you'll notice that since we've rotated around the sun, we've now shifted positions and are no longer facing the sun head on. The sun has actually just barely set, let alone risen for the next day and come back to the same position. So even though the planet has made one full rotation, to our surface observer, it doesn't seem that way at all. So as we keep moving through time, you can see it takes significantly longer, 176 Earth days, two Mercurian years, to complete what would feel like a full day to a person on Mercury. And on that definition of the day, the definition that we here on Earth are more familiar with, Mercury beats Venus for the longest day in the solar system. Oh, yeah, that kind of actually makes sense. And speaking of Mercury orbiting, fact five, Mercury has the most elliptical orbit of any 
planet. Kepler's first law of planetary motion tells us that all planets orbit in ellipses, or oval shapes, not necessarily perfect circles. And of all the planets in our solar system, Mercury is the most eccentric, coming 46 million kilometers away at its closest approach, and going as far as 69.8 million kilometers away at its farthest. Fact number six, Mercury has many craters named after famous historical artists, painters, and musicians. Astrophysicists sometimes just like to have fun. They name craters after John Lennon, Truman Capote, or Chinese painter and calligrapher Zhao Ming Fu, to name a few. Fact number seven, Mercury is tiny. Okay, okay, you knew that. But Mercury is so small that Jupiter and Saturn's biggest moons are actually bigger. Mercury stands with a diameter of 4,878 kilometers, but Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is 5,149 kilometers across, and Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, is 5,268 kilometers across, making Mercury only the 11th largest object in the solar system. And now to fact number eight. Mercury has magnetic tornadoes. Now, these are nothing like the tornadoes we are familiar with, but instead they are strange mergers of Mercury's magnetic field with the sun's. Charged plasma ejected from the sun, called solar wind, carries the sun's magnetic field and can temporarily join the magnetic field of Mercury, creating twisted vortex-like magnetic field lines. And as a result, some solar wind can reach Mercury's surface, whereas the unperturbed magnetic field would otherwise block it. The nature of Mercury's magnetic field is also quite bizarre. Aside from Earth, Mercury is the only other rocky planet with a magnetic field, which is strange because planetary magnetic fields are typically associated with larger and fast rotating planets, two things Mercury is not. So although the field is weak, just 1% that of Earth's, it still, strangely, is there. And fact number nine, Mercury is one of the most difficult planets to see from Earth. Mercury is bright enough to be seen with the naked eye, but its proximity to the sun makes it hard to make out. Depending on the time of the year, Mercury can only be seen very shortly after sunset or very shortly before sunrise. If you don't have a clear view of the horizon, you won't be able to see Mercury. And the leftover light from the sun during dawn and dusk can sometimes drown it out. The best time to view Mercury, however, is during a solar eclipse, when the sun's light is perfectly blocked by the moon and you can see daytime stars and planets. And finally, fact number 10, Einstein used Mercury to prove the general theory of relativity. Back in the 19th and early 20th century, people noticed that Mercury had a strange orbit. Newton's robust laws of gravity didn't seem to be working on Mercury. Scientists tried for decades, carefully measuring Mercury's position over time and using Newton's equations to see if it followed the predicted path, and it didn't. All the other planets checked out with Newton's equations, but not Mercury. The problem was that Mercury's perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, was drifting. Essentially, the orbit itself was moving. For a while, the leading theory was that there was another planet, closer to the Sun than Mercury, named Vulcan. They gave this planet a name despite the fact that, spoiler alert, it doesn't exist. And that's what Einstein suspected. He thought there was something else going on. You see, for the last 10 years, Einstein was working on a little something called the General Theory of Relativity, a new and improved theory of gravity, not to be confused with the mass energy equivalence E equals mc squared. Now, I won't get into all the details, but in Einstein's general relativity, he predicted a slight change to the force of gravity as you get very near a large mass. And unlike Newton's original equation, Einstein's modified equation was consistent with the anomalous orbit of Mercury. And after a few more years of rigorous experimentation, Einstein became internationally famous for redefining the laws of gravity and being right about it. This movement of Mercury's perihelion is called precession, and all planets do it. Mercury is just significantly more affected because it's very near a large mass. It's close to the sun. And that concludes 10 facts about Mercury. But if you want to win $20, you should keep watching. For the first time, I will be running a contest on this channel. After the release of this video, you will have one week to comment on this video a fact about anything in the solar system that I personally do not already know. Whichever fact I deem to be the most interesting and that I've never heard of before will be the lucky winner of a $20 gift card to a place or website of your choosing. Read the description for more details, good luck, and I will see you next time for 10 facts you probably didn't know about Venus. Thanks for watching.